Welcome back. If you've watched any of our previous videos, uh, this is Brian Lovelady here again with Trains West Buick GMC. If this is your first time watching any of the videos, please let us know if there's anything you would like to see. Um, today I have a very nice truck for you. This is a brand new 2022 Elevation Premium package. Um, so this is going to have sunroof, leather, um, and this one is equipped with your 3O diesel. We've already done another walk around on an elevation. Um, one of my other co co-workers, Kyle, did that. Um, we will link that to this video as well. Um, just wanted to do a, a quick overview of the front. Really nice new design they did. Um, Move the fog lights down below. Still have, have that uh, classic Sierra headlight design, just more kind of flat though, um, instead of sticking out. Engine block heater is up front now compared to where it was on the other elevations over to the left hand side um, now on your front camera you do have a washer which is very nice for those dirty roads in the winter of course you have your tow hooks here and then you have your black wheels uh, with the elevation package nice duramax badging as i did say this does have the 3.0 duramax in it um, of course, it has your keyless entry uh, with the push button right here on the side. And then coming towards the back, uh, you have that nice X31 off-road badging just to let you know this does have your Rancho shocks um, and the skid plates as well. We did just get this in about 10 minutes off the truck. Um, so it does have the red badging now, but it is equipped with the black GMC emblems. That multi-pro tailgate GM is known uh, so well for, just very nice, easy to use. And then you have your 110 volt outlet in the back of the bed as well. Capless system uh, for your diesel and then they moved your DEF to the fuel door as well. And that's enough said, walking around the exterior and kind of going over some of the exterior features. We're gonna go for a test drive today um, since we already did do a full walkthrough on one of these elevations. Alrighty, and here we are on the inside, getting ready for the test drive here. Um, just kind of my first time in one of these elevations as well since all of them have been uh, pre-sold before they've gotten here. Um, just nice layout overall with that full digital instrument cluster and then kind of feeds right into the new 13.4 inch display here um, nice column shift now uh, with that electronic precision shift uh, just very smooth overall and let's get on the road right off the bat steering feels very nice um, this 3.0 liter diesel, really nice, smooth power to it. Um, produces very good torque rating um, at 460 pound foot of torque. Stays even with that 3.6 liter, or sorry, the, the 6.2 liter engine um, in the Denali's and the AT4s, things like that. Um, it does have 227 horsepower with it being a diesel, but again, diesel's all about torque. Um, let's see how it does getting up on the, on the highway here. Not even really getting on it too much. Uh, doesn't have hard time at all getting up and going. It was only 60 miles an hour, but Still, again, very nice, smooth power, no turbo lag with it or anything like that. This truck is equipped with the lane keep assist and lane departure warning. Um, I have an icon right here to let me know I'm in the lines with those two green lines there. Um, and then that yellow or orangish amber vehicle is just because the gap adjustment is far and if I go near, it will go green just because of how close we are following here. This truck is also equipped with the wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, 
I have maps pulled up just so you're able to kind of see how that integrates overall. Really nice, um, kind of keeps your eyes off your phone and more on the road and on the screen here. And if you don't like that, um, there is also Google Maps on this new screen and it goes that full width at 13.4 inches there. I prefer Apple CarPlay just because it's, it's handy to have right there um, and it's nice that you also have the option to use your regular uh, Sirius XM radio and things like that while you have your Apple CarPlay. Um, this is equipped with the uh, Bose sound system uh, which sounds very nice overall. Nice uh, layout on the door panels as well with that silver trim around the speakers and then you do have a USB and USB-C here for connectability for the Apple CarPlay or charging needs things like that. GM they did put this little cubby here which I find very nice for uh, your sunglasses uh, since there isn't a sunglass holder up top anymore or they did give you a few more options down here for, for storage as well. This truck is also equipped, like I said, with the sunroof, with this being the uh, premium package here on the elevation. Sunshade just pulled back, and then you do have the option to tilt it or to slide it all the way back with just the push of a button here. Very nice. Uh, for days like today, nice and sunny outside and not too hot quite yet in the morning. Uh, we have a nice uh, guard here for any bugs that will keep debris out of the, the truck for you as well. But also, you do have your OnStar equipment uh, with that 4G LTE built into the truck. Obviously, that is a paid for subscription but that is always nice to have for those kids um, on the long, long trips with the iPads and stuff in the back. Speaking of which, there is a 110 volt outlet here in your center console um, for any charging needs like a laptop or say you do wanna bring some type of uh, little freezer or something in there for drinks or stuff like that and then you also do have another USB-C and USB in here too. GM they did put the uh, cup holders in nice placements uh, really easy for both the driver and passenger to get to and then you also do have two here in the do in each door. Plenty of drive modes as well. Um, simple dial here for sport mode, um, off-road mode, and then also just your regular driving modes. Sport mode, that's really gonna change uh, shift points, keep the truck in higher RPMs, uh, just to give you kind of that more boost to, to help off the line and things of that nature. And then there is also a button for trailering mode. Um, again, that will change shift points as needed and help kind of slow the truck down automatically uh, without having to use the brakes quite as much. And with this being the diesel, it will have your diesel exhaust brake uh, that will turn on when you have that tow haul mode engaged. Nice placement of the, of the uh, trailer brake control here as well. It's right off to the to the right there. Easy to get to, um, and then your brake gain really easy to adjust as well. These buttons here, um, that's your lane keep assist with lane departure warning. Your parking sensors for front and rear. Um, right now they're not operational just because of the microchip shortage. Um, and then your stop start button for the auto off when you come to a stop like this uh, to turn that on or keep it off. Let's 
tailgate button to lower that, hazards, and then traction control. And since this is equipped with your X31 off-road package, it does have your downhill descent control as well. Getting on it a little bit there, it does have quite a bit of power. Um, just a really fun truck overall to drive. Doesn't feel like you're in a truck. Uh, really smooth, quiet ride as well. Very nice sound deadening uh, that GM put these in the doors and just through the whole truck. Just really is a quiet ride. I just want to demonstrate really quickly the adaptive cruise control. I do have it set at 74 right now. I'm just going to increase that a little bit to get closer to this truck in front of us uh, to show you the, the braking it will do. Um, and then I'll just keep my hands off the wheel for a second here to show you the lane keep assist. Um, as you can see, the steering wheel kind of just turned a little bit to keep us center. Um, and I, right now I have the cruise control set at 81 um, and it's slowing us back down to whatever the speed is of this truck in front of us. A um, few other things I did forget to mention, this truck does have your paddle shifters here um, to be able to shift gears quickly coming back down the mountain or um, just helping you with towing, um, things of that nature. Really nice to have. Um, and then you also do have your heated seats in this truck and your heated steering wheel. <clears throat> Again, after driving this truck about 20 miles now, both myself and uh, Kyle, our cameraman here in the back seat, said it's a very, very nice, comfortable truck to ride in, quiet, um, and performs very well. I looked here really quick at our fuel economy, even with this engine still breaking in. We were averaging about 21 miles per gallon, um, and that's kind of stop and go. Right now we're at 20.5, um, and that's only with 23 miles on the odometer here. Um, but again, just this 3O diesel, really good economical engine, um, kind of offsets the diesel price right now. Uh, just really nice power to it as well. Very happy with the way GM tuned the engine, um, smooth power throughout the entire um, RPM gauge there. Just keeps it a very fun truck to drive. Brakes feel very nice coming here through the roundabout. Um, steering isn't too heavy, not too light either. Doesn't feel like the truck's gonna slide at all. Um, and with your four wheel drive on this truck, you do have an auto um, mode as well as your two high, four high, and four low. And if you haven't been to Trans West Buick GMC before, you will have to go through these roundabouts. And I recommend taking the frontage road into the dealership. Um, just an easier way, a lot less traffic um, coming in this way. Alrighty, and once again, this is a brand new 2022 Sierra Elevation here. One thing I did forget to mention, this is a brand new color this year uh, in the GMC lineup. This is a titanium rush metallic. 
Um, really nice color. Right off the bat, it may look black to you, but the flake in it, really nice, beautiful color. Um, kind of has a gray undertone with a hint of purple almost. Um, it just changes a lot in, in the sun, to say the least. Um, but yes, once again, this is Brian here at TransWest Buick GMC. If you do have any other questions on this truck or any other vehicles you do see in our inventory, please feel free to contact me. My cell phone is 815-549-9196. And if you do have any suggestions for us, we're open to them. We're kind of still learning how to make these videos, kind of what you guys want, everything like that. Um, we want to show you kind of what these trucks are for. Um, and we're going to try and find a good off-road spot for next time as well. But please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.